No need to get greedy, just reposition yourself. already sick and tired of the same builds on the mp40 and the stg so today we are gonna take a look at the type 100 max level gold camo unlocked if someone knows this gun and what build to put on it it is me i play the hell out of it so before we go into the build make sure to leave a like on this video and of course if you want to see all the new stuff that uh, comes in the game all the new guns presented in a comedic manner make sure to subscribe to the channel okay guys no good now, enough about me and the channel, let's go to the Type 100. So here we are guys, the first class that I like uh, for you to see is of course the run and gun. It's pretty self-explanatory. Some key features here that I want to point out is of course the barrel. You need this one for the fire rate because it's going to be more in the close range. This is a gun that is more effective closer as an SMG should be. No shit. Another key feature on it is of course the 30 round Russian short. Yeah, I'm sure what you're wondering, why not uh, put uh, the 40 round? Well, this is a run and gun, okay? If you put the 40 round, you're gonna be slow as hell. And of course, you're not gonna have the damage that the other one gives you. So this is the better option, trust me, I tried it. Okay, I have a lot of hours in it. I tried everything on it. Another key thing you need to add on it is of course the proficiency stat and put vital. This is a stat that uh, literally increases the damage of the headshot on the chest. Get out of here. Of course another important thing is the ammo type. I'm not going to pronounce that because I have no idea how to pronounce it. But this increased the bullet velocity by 30% as you can see. So that was uh, build number one. Now we're going to go in a game and actually show you how to use this build. And afterwards, we're gonna take a look at the second build and show you how to use that one as well, because these are very different playstyles. So, let's hop in. Let's start out by uh, watching the recoil. It's pretty crazy, I know. <laughs> You're gonna see a big difference when I use the other one. But it's very effective. And the gold camo is just amazing. It looks so good. Well, let's uh, run and go. As you can see guys, 30 bullets are enough. Uh. You just need to keep running and gunning. Uh. I got the dogs though, that was pretty crazy. Let's go for more, oh my god that was... Oof. You won't believe how, how good this gun is. Don't need to get greedy, just reposition yourself. Oh. Huh? No! God damn it, man! Oh, I love those kind of situations, man. This is my style of gameplay. Nah. 
Oh my god, okay, that was... Oh, this will melt any MP40 dude. Ah, that was nice. Bet he has a high alert. Oh. If you want to ask me, guys, if uh, the gold camo was worth it, I'm gonna tell you right now that it is. I think it's my favorite gold on any Call of Duty ever. It looks so good, especially on the PS5 version. Woo! But I'm telling you right now, I don't know if I'm gonna do it uh, with any other gun. Because a lot of skin will come into the game as well. I'm more of a skin type of guy, you know, buying bundles. So yeah, it's not really worth it. It's very time consuming, especially that I need to do videos showcasing different guns. I don't have time to grind every single gun. Of course, if you want to see a different gun, I mean, like max to level and all that, I'm going to do it for you guys. But I don't do that for me, my, for myself. No. They literally don't have time to uh, react. Look at this guy. Come on now. Come on now! Oh, he came! I swear, man, this gun is like a red belly piranha. It's just melting your, your health. Oh, too many of them, but I like it. Man, so addictive. Okay. We lost, but nobody cares about it. I had 38 kills. I was, yeah. Okay guys, so, pretty crazy gameplay, I know. Now, let's go for a, a different style. This one, I like to call it the no rig oil build. This is more for, uh, you know, medium ranges, but you can get away with the short range. You're gonna see in the video. But this is literally a laser. I'm not joking. If you like to sit a bit back, you know, hold angles or play slow a bit, this is the gun for you. This is the perfect build that I have here. The different uh, thing that I added here, uh, the barrel, you need a Shirashi 3 74 mm Improves a lot your recoil and everything, your flinch resistance by 40% to 50. Of course, there are a bit of downsides when it comes to movement speed and all that, but everything comes at a cost. So. It's your call. Another one is of course you, we added the Carver foregrip. This is of course also for the recoil. And of course the Shirashi weighted as well. But I'm sure you noticed that I have no magazine. I have the standard one, of course. And there is a reason for this. If you add any other of these magazines, of course you have the benefit of the damage and the damage range and the bullet velocity, of course. But you're gonna have a lot. I mean like a lot of recoil, 40 to 50% more recoil. So this basically uh, defeats the purpose, this gun being a laser. Let's go into the gameplay. Okay, so take a look at this recoil pattern. Right. See, it's literally a laser. You will appreciate this recoil, this laser stuff, when you play with a different gun. Trust me guys. Just look at that laser. Of course, everything. This comes with a downside. You're not gonna delete them. It's not a red belly pariah anymore. I need to adjust to the gameplay. This is not a gun for going and deleting people. Just keep your. Oh. There you go. That, that, that piercing vision is so helpful in those situations. <laughs> oh! But uh, I want to use it on uh, medium to long ranges. Look at that. Speaking of long ranges, man. Close range is not that good. We established that. I want to see this. And he's using an STG, man. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? Look at that! This is what I'm talking about. That medium range is just unbeatable. Right, let's see. Come on, come on, whatever you are. Oh, that was disgusting. 
Oh, even this is even more disgusting how they sit there like a fucking. What the heck? I got the other one though. There's two of them there. This is not maybe my best performance, but you can clearly see the difference uh, in the play style. I want to show you more examples on how to use it. But I, I just need to call myself up and play it as I should. Oh, see? Laser. Laser. Boom. Oh, what the heck is the other one? I was saying that I'm gonna use it in a different manner, but look at me, I'm here <laughs> in their faces. Okay, there we go. Oh. Actually, it kills pretty fast, as you can see there. Oh. Having no audio in the game uh, doesn't really help, no matter the gun. Let's uh, go a bit here. Try to play a bit of a long range, you know, like it. You should use this gun. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Woo! Okay. And uh, reposition myself here. They will not expect this, trust me. You said I think it was kind of a glitch, man. I, I, I could have, uh, I could see him uh, through the wall still after 10 years. Oh man, that nerd is just holding an angle there. No. Oh. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. What the hell is he? Good. Always use your teammates as bait. 20 kills with 12 deaths. I'm 1.8 KD. It's not bad by any means. I mean, come on. Oh, that was nasty. Okay, 20 kills. It, it didn't count the last one. Brilliant. So that was it guys uh, for uh, the Type 100 uh, showcase builds and all that. Two builds for you guys. I'm sure I deserve a like for that at least. If not a sub. <laughs> but no pressure. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Which one uh, do you prefer? And of course if you're gonna level up or not. That's all for me and I see you on the next one.